In the pre-dawn hours of 19th September 2000 at approximately 10.30 GMT, Atlantis was passing over America's heartland. Just as the shuttle was heading over Chicago, Illinois, two unusual objects were seen flying below. The first object appeared smaller or farther away. The second object was very bright and moved with some speed. The Inco took steps to zoom in and follow the progress of this object until it was too far afield to track any longer. Or perhaps someone realized that the video was going out to the public and felt it was time to let it go. What were these things? Why did the people in Mission Control take pains to zoom in to investigate the second object? The anomalies were not ice flakes or debris sparkling in the rising sun. As a matter of fact, the announcer in Houston even said that the sun would rise in about a minute. This proves to us that the objects were self-luminous. Let's have a look for ourselves now, shall we? This tracking map was shown just after the downlink had been cut. The moving circle denotes the orbital path of Atlantis during the incident and the flashing arrows indicate how the payload bay camera was oriented. Now, on to the footage of the strange objects. No shortage of snow in this picture. As the scene opens, the first of two anomalous objects appears at bottom screen. This one appears at bottom screen. This one remained more or less in view throughout the event. During the first part of its traverse, the camera was in zoom mode. The camera was then backed off, but the object is still in sight down there if you look carefully. This is where the camera was backed out. As it did so, we got our first glimpse of the second, brighter anomaly. Atlantis is approaching a sunrise as it uh, approaches the uh, Great Lakes area. Remember that, Atlantis is approaching sunrise. That bright patch of light toward the right edge of our screen is Chicago, Illinois. The announcer has noticed the bright anomaly. Listen. This a uh... imagine his dilemma. What to say? This a view of Chicago and also uh, some. Uh... Say something quick. Ice crystals or uh, other items being illuminated by the rising sun. Atlantis uh, moving into sunrise in just about the next minute or so. As that occurs, uh, ice crystals or uh, water that's been dumped overboard from the shuttle is always illuminated uh, in the close vicinity of the spacecraft. Again, that uh, view of Chicago, though, and uh, the shore of Lake Michigan. Good one. Ice and the rising sun when the sun doesn't rise for another minute. You can't have it both ways. How about the attempt to divert attention? That view of Chicago, though. and across uh, the states of uh, Indiana and Ohio. The sun just rose for Atlantis. It's still nighttime on the surface, however. And let's not forget to concentrate on the states of Indiana and Ohio. Don't think about what just passed over Chicago. <laughs> the anomalous part of the event is over now. The yeah, pre-dawn uh, Great Lakes region of the United States is seen uh, from Atlantis at an altitude of 240 statute miles. Atlantis just now uh, moving into sunrise. As it uh, course takes it above Canada, it'll uh, cross out over the Atlantic Ocean uh, north of Newfoundland. Caught him lying to the public this time, didn't we? Now for some enhancements.
This is that first object, zoomed 200% at five times normal speed. Remember I said it was visible throughout the event? Watch this and see for yourself. As the anomaly passed over the city of Chicago, it was almost impossible for me to track it with the circle because the bright lights washed it out. Without the circle, knowing where to look, you can easily keep the anomaly in sight. For your enjoyment, we present the second object once more, with the NASA commentator struggling mightily to explain what he was confronted with by the Inco letting this thing go out to the public. That long pause is the giveaway. Just hear him sweat it out trying to decide what to say. So here are your tongue-tied tax dollars at work. Atlantis is approaching a sunrise as it uh, approaches the uh, Great Lakes area. This a uh, this a view of Chicago and also uh, some uh, ice crystals or uh, other items being illuminated by the rising sun. Atlantis uh, moving into sunrise in just about the next minute or so. As that occurs, uh, ice crystals or uh, water that's been dumped overboard from the shuttle is always illuminated uh, in the close vicinity of the spacecraft. Again, that uh, view of Chicago, though, and uh, the shore of Lake Michigan. This is the second anomaly at three times normal speed, zoomed 200%. Note the odd flashing pattern exhibited by this thing. Please also notice that it retains its shape between blinks, as a bit of tumbling ice or debris would not do. I refer you to the ice chip seen during the STS-96 flyby incident. Remember how dull it was. This object is nothing like that. This event was comprised of two apparently self-luminous objects traveling northward over Indiana, Illinois, finally Chicago and Lake Michigan. The sun was not a factor by NASA's own admission made by an obviously nervous commentator. He tried to dismiss them as ice or debris sparkling in the rising sun, but I think we know better now. It was a most intriguing incident indeed. STS-106 yielded some of the best anomalous events in my collection. We saw the fascinating triangle formation over the Midwestern United States. And finally, there was the Chicago sequence we just looked at. In my 20th century collection, only STS-96 gave us more unknowns.